Okay, so um, I picked up a Kobo Mini yesterday. Uh, so let's start the unboxing. Uh, this is the Kobo Snap Pack. Uh, there was a promotion, so I got it for free. Um, let's put it to the side. Let's look at the box. On the Kobo box itself, uh, there's basically instructions. It says it's, it has an ink display. Uh, Ultra portable, no glare on screen. It supports Wi Fi uh, 802.11 B, G, and N. It has an option for fun interchangeable backs and has a 2 gigabyte memory. But only uh, one, gig is, uh, 1 gigabyte is accessible for your books. And I believe um, you could put about a thousand books on the, on the Kobo. So, let's get into the, into the box. So, here's the Kobo. It says to plug it into the computer. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so let's go see what's in the rest of the box. There is a little quick start guide. It says that you have to go to Kobo uh, setup.com, download Kobo desktop, and uh, plug your Kobo in and start synchronizing it. And uh, welcome to Kobo. Celebrate with up to 90% on your first ebook. So that's nice. You get a little special. And there's a little uh, thing telling them, uh, telling you that they have apps for the iPad and iPhone and other desktops. Here's just fine print that no one reads. Let's put that to the side. And here is a micro USB syncing cable. So let's put all that to the side. So let's take off the protective film. The Kobo Mini um, has a 5 inch e ink touchscreen display. It has 16 levels of grayscale. Uh, it supports EPUB books, PDF, and Mobi. And also uh, supports various image types like JPEG, uh, GIF, and PNG. Uh, also, it supports uh, text files like HTML and RTF and also supports some comic book files like uh, CBZ and CBR. Uh, it's available in black and white. I chose the white, um, the white model and a little correction on what I said before, it's actually over 3 million books to what they say. Um, so, let's get into it. Plug it into my computer. Okay, so I just plugged into my computer, and already you could see that um, it started turning on. Uh, 
Now it's asking me to select a, a language. I'll choose English. Now it's asking me how do I want to set it up. I'm going to choose a computer setup. So now it's asking me to go to uh, Kobo.com, well, KoboSetup.com. So just let me launch that just a second. And I'll download it for Mac. So the file is downloading. So once that's finished downloading, um, I'll continue recording again. Okay, so the file just finished downloading. So let's open it up. It's opening the DMG, checking the volumes, and now I just need to put in the applications. Just copying it over. Sorry if it's a bit slow, it's because I've got the screen recording program running and uh, it uses up a lot of power. So there's the Kobo program. It was not downloaded from the Mac App Store. Okay. Well, a quick fix for that is just open your applications and do a right click and just click open. And it will let you open it. Please enter your password to view or copy and write content to your e-reader. Okay. Set up your device in just a few easy steps. Please note this process requires an internet connection. Get started. Downloading e-reader upgrade. I'll just fast forward this. You have successfully set up your e-reader to my account, which I will not show. Uh, continue uh, below to the Kobo desktop. Okay, what's new? Archive books to free up space on your e-reader. Then download them again when you need them. Delete books or remove them from your library. Welcome to Kobo Desktop. They're going to give us a quick tour. Let's take a tour to learn how to browse the bookstore and add books to your library. We'll also show you how to sync and eject your e-reader. So, if you want, well, if you know what you're looking for, you can just search for a book there. Or you could browse or just search by author. Browse the bookstore. You can also browse by categories and reading lists here. Or check out our recommendations and featured titles below. Uh, keep your e-reader up to date. Click Sync to update your e-reader uh, e with all of your purchases, reading, progress, and annotations. Start reading. Finally, be sure to click Eject before disconnecting your e-reader from your computer. Um, Kobo desktop menu. Find uh, and buy new books. E re read and organize your Kobo books. 
Read your books in Kobo Desktop. Click before disconnecting your e-reader. Keep your library up to date across devices. Manage uh, your details or sign out. Change languages and settings. Welcome to the, uh, the world of e-reading. We're offering you a discount on your first grade book. Okay, so um, I guess I'll pause it, add a few books to my e-reader, and then we'll continue. Now we're finally into the book. So I can bookmark this page. Um, or I could add uh, annotations, or I could just search the book. So I could search, let's say, where it says Apple. So it comes up with a um, whole bunch of stuff. I could just click that, and it'll bring me to the page. I can also skip pages easily by just um, tapping the arrows on the bottom and it'll bring me to the next page that says Apple on it. We can just go back and also um, we could um, find definitions. Let's say if I don't know what uh, Apple means, I get the definition. I could also change the font size to make it really big. And just have a few words on a page. I can even change the fonts and the font changes. I could also f change the lining space and margins and justifications. And with settings, you can sync my book activity, post to your Facebook wall, add to a different shelf, or mark as finished or even change reading settings. It also has a Wi-Fi connection, which is handy for downloading books on the go or syncing your books. I think the Kobo is a really nice e-reader and I think you should pick it up if you really like reading.